Let's analyze it. In this case, we focus on the additional vessel analysis module of Inab Tech Diacom Viewer Pro. We are taking a closer look at the CT scan of the patient with a suspected carotid artery stenosis. In order to have better picture of the vessel tree, the automatic algorithm removes the bone structures using native and contrasted series. Some facial bones have not been completely removed here, perhaps due to an error during scanning. It is possible that the patient's body position has changed, resulting in the scanning zones not matching. Let's use the scissors tool to cut the unnecessary part on the 3D model. In this case, we can see the area of local contraction of the lumen in the mouth of the left internal carotid artery. Let's have a closer look at the parameters of this artery. We put two points to specify the vessel's section of interest, and the program traces the central line automatically. On this view, we can easily identify the cause, a calcified atherosclerotic plaque on the vessel wall, which eventually leads to the contraction of the vessel lumen. The red color marks the area that falls below the average value which corresponds to the presence of a plaque. Let's move on and look at the diameter of the artery. The short diameter in this area is 1.8 millimeters. The long diameter is almost 2.6 millimeters. Such a difference in diameters is associated with a change in the shape of the vessel lumen. Amid the plaque formation, it becomes more flattened. Now we need to calculate the degree of stenosis using the NACID formula. We take the diameter of the vessel at the level of the stenosis and the diameter of the vessel distal to this area. Press the right mouse button and select Add Reference. This will be the reference slice that is used as the normal value to calculate the degree of stenosis. The percentage of stenosis is calculated automatically depending on the value of the vessel diameters in the reference and pathological areas. The automatic calculation of stenosis is carried out in two ways. The diameter stenosis. In this case, the value almost reaches 33% if a short diameter is used. And the area stenosis, which is around 